Transmedia Catalonia, Global Accessibility Awareness Day 2020. Rad Project Logo. Carme Magiron, Rad Leader. Hello, my name is Carme Magiron from Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona. I have curly brown hair, brown eyes, and I'm wearing a black blouse with small white flowers that have a red petal. I'm standing in front of a white wall in my Barcelona apartment. Together with Ana Matamala, I am one of the leaders of the Researching Audio Description project. It is an interdisciplinary project that lasts three years and it's funded by the Spanish Ministry of Science, Innovation and Universities. The objective of the project is to bring forward the research on audio description by focusing on four underexplored areas. The first one is the delivery of AD and especially focusing on prosody. The second one is about AD translation and we'll be looking at less studied languages such as Spanish and Chinese. Then we have two case studies. The first case study is video games and we're going to be looking at how AD could improve game accessibility for blind and low vision players. We'll be talking to the players and try to find out what their needs, expectations and preferences are. Finally, the second case study is about Opera AD and again we'll be talking to users to find out about their needs and preferences. We hope that the Researching Audio Description project will contribute to improving accessibility for blind and low vision users. Thank you. Maria Machuca, Researcher on Phonetics. Good morning. I am Maria Machuca. I have brown hair and I am wearing glasses. And at this moment, I am at home in my office. I am the responsible of the prosody part in the Researching Audio Descriptions project, whose coordinators are Karma Mangiron and Ana Matamala. And I want to show you how we annotate the audio signal and how we extract the acoustic parameters. The films were transcribed with ELAN. ELAN is an annotation tool for video and audio recordings. Then, when the recordings are annotated, we extract the transcriptions and we open at the same time the signal and the transcription in Pratt software. This is the Pratt software. It allows us to divide audio description units in intonation groups. Here you are a sample. Subtitles read? No, I couldn't. I have to finish. Really. At the bottom, you can observe how the audio description units can be divided into different intonation groups. We can label the prosodic features that separate the prosodic boundary, for example, pitch in this case, or pose in this case. The blue line indicates the evolution of the speaker's pitch when he pronounces this audio description unit. Here, the prosodic boundary is the pitch, so we label it as pitch. In this group of intonation, the pitch also drops and then rises, so we label it as pitch 2. But here, in this other group, there is nothing. The speaker has realized a pose, here is a pose, so we label it as a pose. When we have finished this process, we know the prosodic features that divide the intonation groups for the speaker and also what duration, pitch and intensity values we have for each intonation group. In this way, we describe the voice of this speaker. Universitat Autònoma de Barcelona, Departament de Traducció i Interpretació 
i d'estudis de l'Àsia Oriental. Transmedia Catalunya és un research group funded by Secretaria de Universitats i Recerca del Departament d'Empresa i Coneixement de la Generalitat de Catalunya under the SGR funding scheme, reference code 2017, SGR 113. The project researching audio description has received funding from Ministerio de Ciencia, Innovación y Universidades under the program Proyectos y de Degeneración de Conocimiento 2018, Grant Agreement number PGC 20180965666B100. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 4.0 International.